Houston has become a nation of crisis. We've got a moral crisis. Boxers or briefs? You know, a girl never knows. We've got an energy crisis. We've got an immigration crisis. As president, I will lead from the front. They don't know what the outcome is going to be for all of these conflicts we're involved in around the country because of a foggy foreign policy position. Every day, there are terrorists who wake up seeking a way to kill Americans and to destroy this great country. He has no foreign policy experience. Well, you're right. I don't have any foreign policy experience. We can never go to sleep until the scourge of the ideology of terror has come to an end and been defeated. I will stand and win the war on terror. We've got a foggy foreign affairs crisis. I want to make an announcement today. I stand with Israel. You don't need foreign policy experience to know your friends and your enemies. It's real simple. You mess with Israel, you are messing with the United States of America. I have talked a whole lot about foreign policy for a good many years, and it is very, very important. Because it's the foreign policy originally of the Republican Party, of uh, Robert Taft and others, of non-intervention of that of neutrality, minding our own business. What the founders taught and what the, and the Constitution says. Don't get involved in entangling alliances. Don't get involved in internal affairs of other nations. Don't get in the business of, of, of nation building. And besides, we, we don't have the money. Out of all those trillions of dollars created by the Fed, guess what? One third of those funds went to foreign banks makes no sense and we find out that some of those funds actually went to banks partially owned by Qaddafi. I think the people once they know about this will be outraged and are outraged at what has been going on with our monetary system. This is serious stuff because we are bankrupt and we are bogged down. We're in five wars. Right now we're in Libya. Congress was not even asked or informed about it. We have not declared war since World War II, and we haven't won a war since, 19, uh, since World War II. It's up to the Congress, it's up to all of us, and it's up to us to get a president that won't put up with this nonsense and won't go to war so carelessly. I say if we have to go to war, debate the issue, declare the war, and win it and get it over with.